Hi you guys, this is Miha. I'm taking over my mom's channel. Um, today I am making a choco flan. It is a chocolate cake with flan. This is my way of making it. Um, I've had a lot of compliments and a lot of my friends asked me for this cake and my cousins. This has been requested by one of my girls, Pauline. So I'm putting it up. And I'm gonna go over the ingredients first and what I need and then I'm gonna go through the steps. So <clears throat> for the flan, I use one can of evaporated milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, la lechera. So here's my secret recipe. So this is my secret to my flan. I put one can of media crema. I use half a bar of cream cheese, just half, <clears throat> vanilla, this is vanilla extract. Um, here is my, my, my Pam for the bunk cake I'm going to be using. Um, a lot of people make their own caramel, but I prefer this one just because it tastes really good and it's easier for me. Um, but you can make your own caramel with sugar. My mom does that with her flan. I like it, but it, um, it gives it like a little bit of a smoky taste. This is just smooth caramel. And then... This is just for the flan, and then three eggs. For the cake, I use Devil's Food Cake, the Duncan Heinz, the perfectly moist. And on the back of the box, it gives us the, 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 what we need. So it's one cup of water, which I have one cup of water right here. And I have my other three eggs is for the cake batter. And I have one third cup of vegetable oil. And I am using um, the blender, the whisk for the blender. This is for the cream when I mix it all together. A hand, I, a hand blender. A hand blender. This is what I use with the whisk. And I blend my cream cheese and all the cremas in here. And then I am making it this way. This is how I was taught. And it's a baño maria. And I have about half a gallon of water for the baño maria. So I'm going to put it in here, and this is the bunk cake I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, and then I'll come back and show you guys what I do. Okay, okay you guys, so I have everything. Here's the cake, and then here's my pan. I sprayed it down, and then I put the caramel at the bottom. Just leave it like that. And then aquí está mi baño maria ready. I put the half of a gallon of water. And then here's the three cremas, which is condensed, evaporated, y media crema half a block of cream cheese, vanilla, and the three eggs. And I'm just gonna blend this right here, and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, you guys, so I'm, gonna, I'm done. Here's my mixture. Everything's blended well in there. So what I'm doing first, this is the cool part, okay? I'm putting in the chocolate cake first. This is why this is called Pastel Imposible. I'm going to show you guys how cool this is. So remember this part first. Okay. So what it, here's the trick. Okay, you guys, sorry, me and my mom over here laughing because I couldn't open it and she couldn't either, but we got it open. Uh, I don't know who, who closed it that hard, I'm not. No, it was me. Okay, here we go. This is the cool part. Remember, I'm, I'm look at what, what I'm doing because if you hit it straight, I don't know why, but it, make, it ruins the cake. So I'm doing it like this. And look at the magic of the cake. Oops, I put a little bit in the middle. It's okay. Nada, nada pasa. Do you see what's happening? The cake is rising. See? The cake is rising and the flan mixture is going to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Look at it. Ahí está. You're ready. But see how it went to the bottom? 
You want to make sure you leave it alone. Don't move it too much, okay? Next thing, here's my Baño Maria. I just place it in the middle. And then I put it in the oven for two hours at, at 375 degrees. I'll be back and I'll let you guys see what eats next. The cake is, so the cake is done. Um, I have my plate right here. I let it sit in the fridge or freezer for about 45 minutes so it could cool down all the way. You don't want to take it out right away, okay? Listen. And I put it in the oven for an hour and a half. Remember, we're in South Carolina, so the altitude is different here, and the moisture and the humidity than to Colorado. When I did it in Colorado, I would put it for two hours, and then I would take it out, and, and then leave it to cool. So, try to experiment and see how it works out for you. Here we go. Wish me luck. Just turn it around. Place it down. One, two, and... Perfect! Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it came out. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, I'm not done yet. Let me just some hands I'm going to add more caramel to it. And mm. that's it. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's always the scary part, but don't be afraid. Hold it tightly and grip it down because you don't want it to flip or fall apart so you're going to grab the plate tight to the bottom of the cake and then flip it really fast and then lift it up okay so mine is perfect it came out just like i wanted it to here's the caramel drizzle i'm just coming over it the syrup mm -hmm. the, the topping mm -hmm. and let's just put it on top mm -hmm. so my cake is good to go because it's cooled off if it doesn't come out the first time, try, try again. Try again. Don't give up because this is, in, in Spanish, it's called el pastel. ¿Cómo se dice? Imposible. Impossible. Pastel imposible. That means impossible cake because of this. Because it's hard to get that. But look at it. Beautiful. Here it is. For you, Pauline. Okay. I hope you guys try it. Enjoy.